Hey, it's Jerry Duffy here. Early June 2012, time to start really focusing in on your training for Gale Force West 2012. Eight or nine weeks to go to the start line, just to give you an idea of the kind of training I'm going to be doing over the next several weeks. On the run end of things, you have an eight or nine mile run at the beginning. It's a mixture of on-road and off-road, so definitely get into the forest trails if you can. After you arrive at the, the beginning of, of or, or the side of Kerry Harbour, you have a short kayak across where you buddy up on the morning before you do another three or four kilometres again of trail running. This entire event is 67 kilometres in duration but over 45 kilometres of that is on the bike. Now you've arrived at the start line of the, of the, the first bike leg which is 33 kilometres. A few nice hills in there so definitely do some hill training in your biking if you can over the months of June and July. At this stage after 33 kilometres you'll have arrived at the foot of Crowpatrick. I would recommend getting into the hills of the, maybe the Wicklow Mountains or the the Dublin Mountains or whatever mountains you live near and uh, get into those and maybe do some hiking over the weekends of kind of build up to maybe two hours duration that kind of thing. Once you've ascended and descended Crook Patrick you've another 12 or, 12 or 13 kilometers of terrain and um, some undulating terrain there so you have to decide am I going to bring a hybrid bike or road bike. I wrecked the course earlier this year on a hybrid bike and it was fine and considering bringing a, a road bike the next time but I might just put some hard wearing tires on it. As I say, 12 or 13 kilometres before you do a very, very short run at the finish. And then we all celebrate Gale Force West and completing it successfully uh, in late August. Look forward to seeing you there.